witness the main event of the evening. We are live and exclusive on VIPBoxing.tv. The officials have been appointed by the Central Area Council of the British Boxing Board of Control, Stuart in charge, sitting once again proudly at ringside, Mr. Alistair Hayes. And so, ladies and gentlemen, from the City Hall Hull, this is Championship Boxing. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the black leather shorts trimmed with silver. At the weigh-in, he scaled on the championship limit, 11 stone. Tonight, he takes part in his 62nd professional contest. He hails from Bolton. Here is Chris Chaos Jenkinson. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the gold colour shorts trim with red and green. At the weight he scaled 10 stone, 13 and a quarter pounds. His excellent ring record this evening reads 13 contests, 6 wins. Three of those wins coming by way of knockouts, 5 defeats and 2 draws. He hails from Hull via his homeland of Lithuania, presenting Evada's Lightning Corsica. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 10 three-minute rounds of boxing for the Central Area Super Welterweight Championship. Timekeeper at the bell, Mr. Peter Humphrey, and the man in charge of the action, the excellent Mr. John Latham from Berry. 10 three-minute rounds of championship action. Here we go then. Nivalis Corsi is looking to defend Central Area title for the first time. Beat Jack Sellers. 96 points to 94 last time out to win this title. That was a bit of an upset. He's looking to defend it here against the experienced Chris, Chris Twinney Jenkinson, who's coming off a win himself. He stopped Artif Daniel in four rounds last time out. And, you know, for these two guys, normally they're, they're quite busy, but they've had a full training camp for this one, and they've both come here to win that belt, and it'll be an interesting fight. They both look very, very fit, very motivated. Um, Costas didn't even take his eyes off um, Jenkinson in the, in the run-up to the... Um, first bell. Jenkinson's very, very experienced, been around the block many, many times. You know, I mean, he looks in fantastic shape, to be fair. You know, I mean, um, I don't know if he's, um, has, has Jenkinson held an area title before? I don't know for sure. No, this, this is the first time. Oh, fair play. So this is, his, this is his world title shot, yeah. really, and truly. And we were talking to Neil Allman just then on commentary, and he trains Craig Derbyshire, and Derbyshire won that central area title, and yeah. he had a training camp for it, and he, he felt like it was his world title, that opportunity, and I'm sure Chris Jenkins in, in, in the blue corner tonight, he'll, he'll feel the same about it. He'll really want to take that title home and have something to show for his professional oh, career. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, I can only refer to myself and um, I won a centre of title and to tell you the truth, that was the pinnacle of my own career. And um, I'm so, so proud of that. Uh, a recognised British Boxing Board of Control title. I'm happy as Larry with that. And these kids, I know exactly how they feel because yeah. they might not have got the opportunity to box for the major honours. But these things here, local derbies, and um, to be the king of the own area, it's something that um, it stays with you for the rest of your life. Yeah, and the beauty of the Central Area title is that there never seems to be a dull Central Area title fight. There's something about this title that brings the best out of people. And we have all these ranking titles, WBC International and all that kind of thing. Bragging rights. The, the Central Area, yeah. It, there's something about it that just makes everyone perform to the top of the game and you usually get great fights out of it and I'm sure we'll have another one tonight. I hope so. I hope so. It looks it looks like oh well they're gonna go in. They look like they're gonna this first round they look like they're feeling each other out well they're quite getting quite close. I think we're gonna have a barnstorm at some point. Yeah and we're gonna mean, engage. These two guys they're tough as anything yeah. and that's one thing neither of them are gonna quit or yeah. anything like that. It's gonna be a yeah. real war if it comes to that. Neither will take a back step either. I hope so. At the moment, they're just finding that range, trying to um, untangle feet and that. As you can see, Costas is a southpaw, um, Jenkins is an orthodox, so to a degree. Um, oh. A bit of success there with um, a looping left hand. Yeah, I mean, Costas, because he's only had 13 fights, so he's relatively inexperienced when you compare him to Jenkins, who, who's had 60-odd fights now. So Jenkins sh shared the ring with higher calibre opponents but does that count for nothing when you're in there does it it's well when you've got a men. fresh a fresh a fresh young whippersnapper wanting to make his mark in the game sometimes that enthusiasm of the youth can overtake the experience but saying that that experience is like they say there's plenty of dog life in the old dog there you go but you know what um, there, there comes there comes a little bit of a confidence from knowing that um 
a man's been beat so many times that that gives you the confidence for you to step forward and say, I'm going to be one, I'm going to beat him too. Yeah, and he, equally for Jenkinson, he, he shared the ring with the likes of Jimmy Kelly, Denson Vassell, Ted Cheeseman, Nathan Cartwright, the, the list goes on, so he knows he he's can get He's got no hit fear, yeah, and, yeah. And he's not going to quit. Yeah. So for him, he's coming into this fight with nothing to lose, really. And everything to gain, everything to gain. Whereas the pressure's on the young lad, um, we'll call him Konokos, Konsakas, the <laughs> Lithuanian. Um, <laughs> But like you say, everything, it's all on him. Now, who would you give that round to? Because it's quite even and a lot of people don't like giving 10-10s. Ten yeah, you might just give it to um, Vesokas. Yeah, I think on intent maybe. Yeah. He was yeah. coming forward a little bit more, but again, that won't fit his 20. He's lost rounds before, he knows yeah. what it's like. He knows what it's like to give a round or two away and then... Yeah. He might, like you say, Jenkinson might be just saying, well, listen, let's see if he's as good as a Vassell, if he's as good as Vassell. And, and then he's going to start slowly and surely letting his experience tell, we'll see. And he looks, he certainly looks fit as a fiddle. Second vote, round two. And that fitness can be vital. Yeah, and you said it earlier, Jenkinson's got nothing to lose. And mm. it's a bit like when Craig Derbyshire and Daryl Sharp have won that century yeah. title. No one will fight him now because yeah. they win and everyone says, oh, Ooh. so what? Everyone did. Yeah. And you lose. And because they're good fighters and the same as these two guys. They it's might just how they're matched. Exactly. And, you know, Twinney's a good fighter yeah. and he's beat some good fighters, but he's lost a lot of fights because that's his job in there. Yeah. You look at his record, if you didn't know boxing, you'd think, oh, he's rubbish. he's rubbish. But really, he's a very good he's fighter. He's very experienced. And, well. yeah. It's like, just say, for example, um, I know that we're, to a degree, detracting from this main event, but saying that at the same time, we can see that there's not a lot happening. They're still feeling each other out. Uh, like you say, the intent's there, but the range just isn't quite there. Um, but you can see at some point in time, I think the corners are going to tell them, look, one of you is going to have to take the initiative and stamp your authority on this fight. Because at the moment, there's nothing really conclusive from either of them. I don't know if you'd agree with that. Yeah, definitely. I think a, they're, they're still filling each other yeah, out, really, yeah, aren't they? They're yeah. just, I think they're both waiting for one of them to take the initiative yeah. and, and see what's going to come at them. But that hasn't happened yet. But it's a 10-round fight. There's a lot of time still right. to come. And That's right. That won't bother either of them losing the odd round here or there. There you go. See that little touch, see that little touch there from, thingy, from Jenkinson? Just, he made him miss, counting him with half a shot and then evaded the, um, the comeback. I think the longer this goes, depending on if um, the Lithuanian can... Um, I can't, I, my lips won't get around that word. <laughs> I'll try again. I'm not. The Lithuanian. <laughs> if, um, if, the, if, the, if, the, if the Lithuanian guy doesn't get some success quickly, he's going to end up um, giving Jenkinson so much confidence because Jenkinson looks like he hasn't even started at all yet. Look at him, he's playing, he's playing, he's just looking, looking, searching. Where's that right hand to the body? Ooh. Yeah, and Jenkinson's one of these guys, really. He's one of these journeymen that every fight he has, he'll always have a bit of success just yeah. to show his opponent, look, I'm still here. Don't he'll land the odd right hand. And yeah. So he's shown that he's got the ability to do it. And tonight is his chance, really. This is opportunity, shine, yeah. He might, just, he, he might just say, I'm going to nick it. Um, did you say that he's, um, is he anything to do with the, um, I don't think he's anything to do with Almond, is he? Is it the elite? Is it elite boxing Yeah, he's, he's with Alex Matvienko. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Fantastic yeah. trainer. Yeah, yeah very know. good guy. Very well respected guy. Good guy. Does what he says on the tin. He's a good guy. So, if that's the case, yeah, we've talk, got a brave, talk, strong guy. Talking about Alex, me, me and John Evans who usually do the commentary. We did a training session on video with him on yeah. YouTube at the moment with Alex and it's on online to watch it. And I tell you what, his knowledge is unbelievable. He's, he's, he's teaching us things every every few minutes. He was yeah. telling us things, and you could see even the pros. He does he does basic combinations like catching jabs and yeah, throwing catching, back. Yeah, catching counter. But, yeah. But he's got like Jack Flatley, who, who's getting there to this British title yeah. level. But he's still teaching him the basics and yeah. drilling them. And you can see that with his fighters. He's such a knowledgeable guy. And I love that old school. You know, a lot of the kids yeah. they don't realise that um, everybody's trying to be a Floyd Mayweather, and they don't realise that Floyd Mayweather took a lifetime to hone them skills and he's still honing them skills. Yeah. But if you do the basics, go back to basics, you've got a jab, you've got an up... Like I turn around and say, an accumulate, a combination is an accumulate, accumulation of single punches. If you master the, the art of um, throwing all them single punches, you can throw a combination any time you want. Exactly. A combination can be one punch, it can be four punches, it can be ten punches. Learn the craft. I've still got this fight ready, it, it hasn't yet opened up. It hasn't yet opened up. Um, I'd have to... Nearly 
there, isn't it? You yeah. can just see it's just going to take that just, one shot. Just to one shot. It. That's yeah. right, one shot, and then they'll save. Second down, round it's three. On, it's on. At some point, they've got to open up and engage, and somebody's got to take the initiative. A little bit of a game of chess at the moment. Nobody's actually quite connecting. It's like they're looking for openings. I wouldn't even turn around and say that the um, Southpaw Orthodox combination is... Oh, good shot, good shot, good shot. Straight um, right hand, straight right hand from 20. Good shot, punch picking, punch picking. In tight rounds like this, that's the kind of thing that, that wins you the round, the yep. eye-catching stuff, yep. isn't it? That, that's what you got to do. Yep. I think he might... Well, I don't know, but let's see how this round pans out. But um, the Lithuania needs to get some contact, and he hasn't, he hasn't. Well, that was win. One shot. Okay, that gives him some confidence. Nice little combination. Scuffing shots, not no really clean shots, but enough to turn around and get the respect back from um, Jenkinson. And he got the crowd going as well a little yeah. bit then, didn't he? Which yeah. is always a bonus for you when mm -hmm. scoring fights and things like that. You Good can shot. Get the crowd Good shot. Lovely for you. shot. Fainted with a um, right hand to the head and sunk one right into the body with the left hand. Straight left hand, love that shot. Both fighters have been a little bit more busy now, aren't they? are both responding yeah. to each other. When one has a spell, the other one will come back and it is, really is a 50-50 fight so far in this third round. As well, as you said, as you said, they're just waiting for, we're waiting for that one good connection so that um, the other one needs to, oh, good shot. A little bit of blood coming from the nose of um, Jenkinson. I don't know if that was more caused from a little bump of the heads, to, to be fair. I didn't quite do my homework on these two kids and that. Um, I, know, I know Jenkinson from on the circuit from years ago, but I don't really know nothing about the Lithuanian gentleman. He's one of these, he's coming to the fight, four fights unbeaten. Yeah. Obviously, he upset Jack Sellers last time out, yeah. won the title. So, I mean, he started his career with quite a few losses, but he seems to have turned the corner See? and thought... Well, sometimes that, um, un sorry, sometimes that unbeaten tag can be a nightmare. Yeah. I swear to God, a night that's more pressure than actually fighting. Yeah, you speak to a lot of guys that have a loss and immediately after they're devastated but in the long mm, run they the say you know what that's the best thing that ever happened to Takes them the pressure off. and you learn much more from a loss than you do from the oh, majority so much of your more. wins so much more unless you're a consummate pro who yeah. doesn't need to lose and <laughs> um, learn, does his learning in the gym that's the ultimate thing isn't it that's right <laughs> that's right When he's just taunting him there, yeah. he's dropped his hands. He's trying, to, he's trying to set in little traps and seeing what is how the guy, how the kid's going to react. But um, oh, see they're trying, they're wanting to, they're wanting, they're still waiting for that one. Oh, here we go. Nice round. Nice round. They're still, they're still playing cat and mouse at the moment. Yeah, it's a tight fight to score yeah. this one, isn't it? I think it will be all the way through. Both. Both I think men are going to give as good as they get. I think Vinny's going to send him out at some point and turn around and say, listen, come out and win that fight. Because I know that um, um, Alex is, sorry, Alex is a very competitive gentleman. And I think he's going to want that title. He's going to want to go home with that title. Macaulay McGowan on the Facebook stream. He said, who's the guest commentator? Do you want to introduce yourself again? You've already done a fight tonight. Done a fantastic job. Oh, thank back. you very much. My name's Nick Manners. I'm from Leeds. Um, Former, former ex-professional fighter um, from a fighting family, the Manners brothers, Colin, um, Ricky, and Nicholas. I'm the handsome one. <laughs> what are you laughing for? <laughs> Second round, round four. I've not seen the others, so I can't comment. <laughs> Here we go then. Round four of this ten rounder. One of these fights is just going to... It's got to explode, you know what I mean? It's flying by... Um, I'm liking the patience that both of them are showing, but at some point in time, they've really got to commit and um, grasp a hold of the fight. They've got to grab a hold of the fight. Yeah, and you can never rely on winning it on the scorecard no. in a close fight, can you? You've really got to get hold of it and, and try and get the win in there. There's plenty of time still to go, though, that's the thing. Yeah. Like I say, it's a ten-round fight, and they're still feeling each other out. How would you have it so far? I'd say it's about two. Oh, good shot. That was a lovely shot. shot. Lovely shot. I love that. 
Love that shot. Now he's got to make sure that he don't get um, get one repeated back on him to even up the score. So, Yeah, how have you got this, look, this so far? If it's four rounds, I'd have to say, I'd, I'd call it even. I'd call it even, yep. Um, one seems to take the initiative and then straight away allows the other one to fire back, so there's nobody actually getting any clean punches off and moving away and letting the judges see that that was a clean combination, so 50-50s. 50-50s. I'd like to see somebody engage a bit, stay inside and work the body and bring it up to the head. A bit scruffy at the moment, um, tangling each other up. I've got Jimmy James Arrington looking at me like a psychopath in my eyes. <laughs> Jimmy, breathe. Blink. <laughs> oh, all right, my man. Jimmy's just had a successful um, evening with um, Isaac Law. Um, I think that they're hoping to fight Brian for the Brian Walsh for the British title at some point. I don't know if it's going to be before Christmas or after Christmas. Before Christmas. Fingers crossed it all goes well for us, Jimmy. There you go, it's starting to open up, but it's covered up. Nice sustained attack. Sustained attack, but he's covered up. He actually did catch a lot of that on the gloves and arms. So I'm happy as Larry at that. I love to see a nice defence. I love to see a nice little bit of evasive action. As much as you want to see the punches connecting, sometimes you want to see the... Um, sometimes you want to see the fighters um, show defence. Isaac and what's that? Just two at the end of the row. Yeah, the Lithuanian's starting to warm to his task now and starting to get some success. Some sex, so, some, what's the word? Un, when it don't come back at you. Well, there's not anything back anyway, it's counting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I wish, I wish I were like that Eubanks, you know, and had a real um, vocabulary. But I'm the auctionman, and I'll say it as it is. <laughs> when the Lithuanian's hitting him on the head, he's not getting it back. <laughs> Yeah, that's another round. I've got to give that round a lot clearer to um, the Lithuanian gentleman. I'm surrounded by Isaac Lowe's corner here and talk about the Brian Walsh fight. That's the one you're looking for before Christmas? taking a step down in level five is that he's not going to train properly, he's not going to be up for it, but he looked bang up for it tonight and he looked in the best shape that we've seen him. Yeah, he um, looks superb, but what we have to not forget, he's up at 10 stone there as well, so he's going to come down in weight, yeah. um, his body will start wearing a little bit more inspiring uh, and in camps, and then it'll be peaking again, coming up towards the Walsh fight. Uh, people thought we were a little bit mad as a team, taking... Uh, a tick over fight, but as people know, we are a bit mad, Rusty. aren't we, Nick? <laughs> well, you'll speak for yourself. Um, but I... <laughs> um, no, 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 no. At the end of the day, you've got to get them little tune up fights and that. And if you're confident in your fighter and you're confident in your team, you know you've got to get the rounds out. It was always going to be a potential banana skin because these kids will turn around and um, good shot, good shot, nice little shot. Did he catch that? Did he catch that? Did he catch that counter then? I'm not sure, you know. They were a good think, shot. I'd, yeah, I'd like to think, think that I'd like to think that um, the lift weighting connected in that. But yeah, it's we a really good shot. didn't have a very good angle of that, did no, we? So no. Going back to um, Isaac. Um, listen, at the end of the day, he's worked hard enough. He's got the Commonwealth title. Unfortunately, he didn't defend it enough times to turn around and, um, and that's stay relevant. Now Rhys Bellotti's got that. That some of that can potentially happen in the future. It's yeah. a good little mix yeah. up at domestic. You've got Jordan Gill. Yep. Uh, Dave good Caldwell's nice, nice. in there as well. Yeah, Dave Caldwell's got Jordan Gill. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good lad is Dave, isn't it? And obviously, I was spinning with Dennis Seal, and disappointing that that fight got stopped on a cut. But and then he's challenged Josh Warrington in his next fight in a final eliminator. So he's a world level fighter, and I yeah. just mixed it with him. Yeah. Yeah. He did well. You took him over. He did well, didn't he? Yeah. He's, he's as Nick knows, as you know, as boxing fans know, it's only uh, margins between yeah. elite level fighters and the next level, and it's how you get. Good shot. Oh, good shot. 
it's all over, it's over, it's over, it's over. That's how you knock somebody out. That's how you deal with somebody. Let's make sure he's all right, I understand that, but this is boxing, and when it comes down to it, this is what it's about. Knockouts, bang them out. This is boxing. The doctor nearly went for a Burton too. Let's calm down. We just need to give, we just need to give Let's just remember this, though. Regardless of what happens, this is what we're yeah. coming here to see. Knockouts, boxing. He's got all the medical staff with him, and everybody's going to do the best that they can. But let's not forget this. This was a fantastic shot from that young Lithuanian kid. I still can't say his name. Yeah, the time to celebrate is later on. We need to I understand sure that. I understand that. Okay I understand that. I appreciate that, and I understand that. But you know something? Tempered in all that is that that kid has just done the shot of a lifetime, and he landed. That's the highlight reel. Jenkins will be all right, but I'll tell you something. That was a shot and a half, and let's not take away from that. Let's not take away from that. Yeah, John Latham called that straight away. He didn't even get on with a count. Fantastic referee. Uh, no, of John. course. He didn't yeah. take a rocket scientist to know he won't get in up though, Jimmy. No, no. It's yeah. it, just people, a matter of getting the um, medical staff in there yeah, straight some away. Some people do though, they leave it yeah. too long. They've yeah. 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 seen it, we've all seen yeah. it. And yeah. I mean, the medical staff here at boxing tonight, they're the best that you can get and yeah. he's in the best hands possible straight away. Mm -hmm. You, you can see that um, Alex is time. very concerned, but he's making sure that his fight is all right. Um, the Lithuanian corner seems to be very respectful while um, he's being looked after by the medical staff. Everybody's there, the board officials, everybody's getting his oxygen. But let me tell you something, he got knocked out. And I don't say that, I don't say that, um, I'm not ridiculing or nothing like that. I'm just saying, when it comes to boxing, I love my boxing. I've been banged out myself in my time, so if you're prepared to give it, you've got to take it. And I'm sure that if the Lithuanian kid had have, um, dreamed last night how he's going to win, he'd have loved a knockout finish like that. That was fantastic. That is boxing. Bang. Yeah, he just walked him around. That shot came from nowhere, didn't it? Yeah. So we were just chatting about yeah. Isaac and boom. And mm -hmm. it's fantastic to say Chris Jenkinson get back to the three years. Going to win a title. That's the way to win a title. That is the way to win a title. As it stands up, we just need a few more moments before we move into the stage of the races we've got going on. You know, sometimes, sometimes the brilliance of a shot can be sometimes forgotten in the concern for the fighter who received the shot. But let me tell you something now, that was a very good shot. A very good shot, he walked him onto that. As you said, Jimmy, walked him onto that. And to a degree, as soon as that shot connected, the fight was over, the fight was over. Heavy knockdown. Very, very, very. Take your time getting up, young man. The gold time in the world. Isaac Lowe's just with us now. He's had a very good win tonight. Um, looking very satisfied with himself. Congratulations, Isaac. Look very well. You look all right, Isaac. You look well. Just, well, giving Chris Jenkinson a minute. Isaac Lowe's joined us. Job done tonight. You needed to get the job done in there against a tough opponent, and you certainly did that. Yeah. We've had a bit of a risk tonight, obviously, in the big fight coming up. A bit of pressure going in there because, obviously, British title, don't get no cuts, don't get marks, just basically getting the rounds and getting out safe. And we done that, was working a little bit of things. At first, I'd maybe just jump in a bit too quick, but as uh, far as the rounds went on, I was getting more into it and uh, I'm pleased with a good six rounds and uh, opened the gasket, but got a bit of rhythm rust off, what me and Jimmy's been working on, and uh, we move on for the good. Just going to leave a few more minutes. Chris is very much aware of his uh, surroundings, he's aware of what's happened. So we're going to congratulate the champion in just a moment. I wonder, what, I wonder what's next for this um, new Central Area champion, because um, I, I can't imagine too many challenges will be coming forward after seeing a knockout like that, to be fair. No. Taking her, it's not, not on an area level. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see where he goes from here now yeah. with a win like that against such a mm. tough opponent. Mm. And was we it can, a knockout, right, wasn't it? That we was can start a very good to knockout. congratulate him, and now we know that Twinny's OK yeah. and yeah, he knows where okay. he is. And yeah. Now we can really start to think about that shot that landed and what a shot it was, what Ooh. a way to win. And, yeah, it'd be interesting to see where he goes from here now with a record yeah, like his. Pardon? Again, his car and go on. <laughs> that Jimmy's a comedian, though. He's right funny as our Jimmy James Arrington, you know. He is, he is, he is, he is. <laughs> no, he is quite funny. <laughs> oh, dear, mate. I wonder if he's got any challenges um, lined up.
potentially, potentially, who would you like next? Yes, forget, yeah, as a defence. Pardon? There we go then. The corner want the who's English title it? next. Who's got it? Dan Cheeseman. Just talking to his, um, to his cornerman there and um, asked him potentially who would he like next after this because he might find it difficult to um, get any challenges for the Central Area title. And he's talking, they're talking about the English title. They'd probably like, is it Ted Cheeseman? Yeah, Ted Cheeseman. Well, Ted Cheeseman's a quality kid, isn't he? You know what I mean? Um, he's got heavy hands, obviously, but that, Ted Cheeseman's got um, good basic um, sound boxing skills, so that would be an interesting fight. Um, I, don't know who's, I don't know who promotes and manages this lad here. Have you any idea? I don't know if it's Jimmy Feeling or be his yeah. manager. Right, well, well, if that's the case, that's his business to do it and that, you know what I mean? <laughs> we can't Just over shout Jimmy. It's no, nice. go on, sorry. It's nice to see Jimmy, though. I've not seen him for a few oh, no. years, Nick. Uh, mm -hmm. A whole base trainer, pull, pull. yeah. Got his gym in Hull. Nice he's still producing champions. Well, listen, Hull's been a, um, Hull's hot always bed. been uh, Hull's always been a hotbed of um, boxing talent. Always, not a very. To some people, it might be a boring city and all that business. It might not be as cosmopolitan as Leeds or Manchester or Liverpool. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's always been on the sporting map when it's come to boxing. Mm -hmm. One of the um, just to keep you updated, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a matter of Chris being majorly disappointed. No well, chance of a first time. Well, so we're just going to let him uh, rest completely, let him take his seat, and then we'll uh, announce the decision. Chris is getting up, ladies and gentlemen. Nice round of applause, please. Good luck. Good luck. Always nice to see that, Nick. Very nice. Always nice. Always listen, nice at the end of the day, back yeah. on the feet. Yeah, we don't want to listen. The only thing we want to do is see him down for the count of ten, yeah. and then it's all over, and then we can get up. And we can all see that everybody's all right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, massive credit to the medical staff in here tonight. Mm. Fantastic job. And the, the fighters, when things like this happen, they're in the best hands possible. It was nice to see that the young Lithuanian was respectful and that. Yes, although I was that, just um, going to pick up on that, yeah. Nick. Didn't start jumping about no. and creating. No. And he kept it, which is um, which is good. It's good for um, good for him, good for his supporters. His supporters stay respectful and that. And then he gets the belt of the first of many belts, meant probably. Yeah, I was just about to say, um, Hull, Hull's got some, Hull's had some fantastic boxers in that Ladies one. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and The one that stands out is Tony Bull. I'm going to say that name again, Referee Tony John Bull. Latham is dispensed with a the count. Therefore, your winner, by way of technical counter, he is still the Central Area Super Welterweight Champion from Hull and his homeland of Lithuania, Avalas Lightning Kosakas. And ladies and gentlemen, there's no understatement, it was a brilliant challenge from Chris Jenkinson. Just caught flush right at the end of the fifth round here. As Chris the Jenkinson, a fine challenge, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Central Area Council of well, the British Boxing Board of Control, our steward in charge, Mr. Alistair Hayes, has presented the championship belt to the winner, still the champion, Avaldas Kosakas. On behalf of everybody concerned with tonight's promotions here at the City Hall Hull, thank you for watching live at home on VIPBoxing.tv. Our young commentator, 18 next week, Mr. Luke Madeira, shall be with us in Oldham tomorrow. Nick, you're more than welcome, but you've probably got other things to do, you're a little charmer. And we're at the, we're at the new Oldham Leisure Centre, aren't we, Mr. Wood? Tomorrow, the new Oldham Leisure Centre, that is July the 28th. Oh, marvellous. You can watch it live and exclusive via peakboxing.tv on behalf of all the management and staff. Safe journey home. Enjoy what remains of the weekend. Good night.